This creepy crawly looks like a spider with a dog's head and it's freaking people out In July 2017 Andreas K was roaming through the Ecuadorian portion of the Amazon rainforest The Amazon is known to be one of the most biologically diverse regions in the world So K was prepared to come across some unusual creatures throughout the course of his travels But even so one tiny critter was so utterly bizarre looking that it completely stole the man's attention K is a scientist seeking to examine Ecuador's rich natural environment since 2001 He's been documenting creatures and plants found in the country capturing images and uploading them to the internet so far He's shared more than 25,000 images The sheer number of photographs K has taken is a testament to the spectrum of life contained within the Amazon and K has been recording plants and animals only within the Ecuadorian section of the rainforest yet it spreads across eight other countries too in fact, only a small portion of it is found in Ecuador, with it mostly lying in Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. All in all, the Amazon serves as more than 50% of the Earth's surviving rainforest. It's thought to be about 55 million years old, emerging from the Eocene period of Earth's history. Today, it contains roughly 390 billion trees. These many billions of trees are split into about 16,000 different species. Indeed the sheer range of plant species in general found in the Amazon is more varied than in any other region around the world as it stands more than 40,000 different species of plant have been recorded there Of course the array of animal life is also profoundly broad in the Amazon Some 2.5 million different kinds of insects have been recorded there as well as 2,200 species of fish almost 1,300 kinds of bird and more than 400 types of mammal Moreover, new species continue to be discovered regularly. Indeed, one report from 2017 suggests that a previously undiscovered type of plant or animal is recorded in the Amazon every two days. So it could hardly come as a surprise for Andreas K. in that very year to stumble upon some unusual creatures during one of his ventures. Even so, he must have gotten a jolt upon coming across a creature known as a Metagrin bicolumnata. Metagrin bicolumnata is a type of arachnid which belongs to the opalones order the opalones are more commonly referred to as Harvest men or daddy long legs Indeed metagrin bicolumnata has itself been given a more colloquial name based on its bizarre appearance It's known as the bunny harvest men To put it plainly case photographs reveal a creature that looks to be some combination of a spider and a dog or rabbit Footage shows that this curious creature has a dark body with a pair of eye spots situated on its back K himself wrote in a blog post accompanying his images the creatures awkward bunny ears rise above from the edge of its abdomen crazy In actuality the critter is not a rabbit dog or even a spider in spite of the eight legs harvest men are not actually classified as spiders and the yellow dots on the bunny harvest men are not in fact eyes the creatures actual eyes are located just below the yellow dots We can see them as two black circles looking like the nose of the rabbit or dog But if these yellow dots don't serve the creatures sight, then what are they for? Indeed, why is the creature evolved to look this way in general? Scientists are not yet able to provide a sufficient answer K himself has a theory however in his blog post the scientist explained his hypothesis Maybe the eye spots and ear like protuberances are meant to fool predators into thinking the creature is larger than it really is He wrote in any case this theory is yet to be properly examined Indeed scientists have given very little scientific thought or effort to the bunny harvestman K was far from the first to discover the creature with a German by the name of Carl Friedrich Rauer documenting it way back in 1959 yet since that time researchers have produced only a small number of papers on the animal Indeed, it's possibly the fact that so little is known about the bunny harvestman in addition to its bizarre appearance That has so thoroughly captured people's attentions Kay's post generally gained little notice for over a year But in November 2018 a science writer brought his images into the spotlight and soon the online community was going wild for them The science writer who tweeted Kay's images is called Ferris Yaber and he has his own thoughts on the bunny harvestman's appearance Clearly, he wrote in his tweet accompanying the images, it should be called the Grim. 
This is a reference to a symbol of death that takes the form of a dog in the Harry Potter universe. Other internet users debated whether the arachnid most resembled a dog or a bunny. Indeed, what some people viewed as a frightening creature horrified them. One user specifically questioned its resemblance to a cute bunny rabbit, asking, who on this earth looked at that monstrosity and called it a bunny harvestman? The harvestman captivated others more, however. One user even went so far as to claim the creature was actually kind of adorable. In any case, regardless of its appearance, the harvestman is, in fact, harmless. When viewing most of the images of the bunny harvestman, one could be forgiven for thinking the arachnid is a large beast. As one image shows, though, it's actually a little bigger than the tip of a person's finger. Moreover, it cannot produce venom. There's a famous urban myth that claims that harvestmen are among the most venomous creatures on Earth. This is a falsehood for multiple reasons. First and foremost, however, is that no species of harvestman has ever been known to possess the glands required for producing venom. As for the bunny harvestman specifically, more study will be required to gain a clearer understanding of it. For now, it remains something of an enigma, with an appearance like something totally unrelated to itself. Yet, within the Amazon, the bunny harvestman is far from the only creature that resembles something else entirely. Fulgara laternaia is a type of plant hopper found in the Amazon, as well as across Central and South America in general. It's known by a variety of different names, including the alligator bug and the lanternfly. However, given its appearance, perhaps the most appropriate name designated to the insect is peanut bug. The peanut bug is so-called because of the bulge at the top of his head. This peanut-resembling lump is useful to the insect as it serves to drive potential predators away. And given that the bug's mouth is incapable of biting, this is an important defensive feature. The peanut-shaped head, however, is not the insect's only defensive measure. Indeed, when the thing spreads its wings, it reveals colored spots resembling eyes. It's thought that these false eyes serve to frighten away hunters. In addition to peanut bugs, many other creatures make use of false eyes. Indeed, several species of butterfly are adorned with these notable spots. But one type in particular looks uncannily like another flying animal, the owl. Owl butterflies are found in the Amazon as well as in other rainforests across Central and South America. They're even found as far north as Mexico. They can grow to quite a large size, sometimes close to 8 inches. The spots on the wings of owl butterflies may, for humans, resemble the large eyes of an owl, but it's suspected that it's not actually the case for the butterfly's natural predators. Indeed, according to the theory of Batesman mimicry, the spots would resemble not an owl's eyes, but rather the eyes of a reptile such as a lizard. Though peanut bugs and owl butterflies possess ingenious defense measures, it's difficult to suggest that the creatures are subtle. Indeed, with owl resembling wings and heads the shape of nuts, it's fair to say the creatures somewhat call for a bit of attention. On the other hand, insects within the Tetagonidae family are considered more sophisticated in their ability to stay hidden. There are more than 6,400 different species of tetagonidids, and they come in different sizes, anywhere from a fifth of an inch to five inches. They exhibit cryptic qualities which ensure they are undetected by predators. In essence, this means they can fool other animals into thinking they are leaves. Tetagonidids are found in every continent of the world, excluding Antarctica. They do, however, tend to live in tropical climates. Indeed, the Amazon is home to more than 2,000 different species. If you consider individuals within specific species of Tetagonidid, however, you would find considerable diversity. Indeed, it's thought that almost 22% of each Tetagonidae species was recorded as new due to the level of diversity between individual insects. The reason for this diversity, it's hypothesized, is partly down to monkeys. Monkeys are prime consumers of tetagonidids, searching for the insects by sifting through plants. Monkeys are smart creatures, so if all members of the tetagonidae species looked the same, they'd eventually learn to identify them. But with the distinctions between individuals, the monkeys can't get used to a single identifying creature. The tetagonidids are wonderfully adept in disguising themselves, but many other creatures can do so. In fact, there are animals other than insects that are experts in camouflage. The patu, for example, is a type of bird found in tropical regions of the world. There are numerous species found in countries such as Argentina and Mexico, but most are in the Amazon. 
Pachoos are nocturnal birds meaning they're active at nighttime during the day in fact they spend their time in in a mobile state resting upon branches but you needn't worry for the patu just because they rest in broad daylight does not mean that they're overly exposed that's because the patu's feathers serve to conceal the bird from any potential predators they're able to do this by giving off the appearance of tree bark so when the bird rests on a branch it's visually indistinguishable from the log itself the patu's eyes in contrast to its subtle feathers are extremely large and conspicuous however it shuts them during the day while it rests yet even so the birds can perceive movement through small gaps at the bottom of its eyelids so it's given another fighting chance for survival the Amazon is a treasure trove of bizarre and fascinating creatures new species are being recorded regularly and even many of those already discovered are by no means fully understood yet unfortunately those seeking to learn more about these plants and animals must also face up to the reality that they're under threat deforestation represents a great threat to the Amazon and as such the plants and animals residing within it in fact according to the World Wildlife Fund WWF deforestation in the Amazon has already seen 20% of the trees there destroyed the group further predicts this to rise to 27% by 2030 this level of habitat loss would have an adverse effect on global warming furthermore it could ruin any chances of ever documenting previously unknown species of plants and animals found there indeed this was a warning that Sarah Hutchinson a prominent figure within WWF's fight to protect the Amazon gave after the publication of a 2017 report highlighting the issue we're only at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to unveiling the incredible species that live in the Amazon Hutchinson pointed out yet instead of this precious area being safeguarded it's under greater threat than ever before there's a real risk that at the rate at which the Amazon is changing many species may become extinct before we've had a chance to find them it's clear that the Amazon rainforest and the life found within it are under threat however between 2002 and 2006 the rate of deforestation there fell by about 60 percent today much more needs to be done yet the 60 percent drop illustrates that positive change is possible and if this change occurs maybe fascinating creatures such as the bunny harvestman will be allowed to thrive and we might one day learn to understand these and other mysterious Amazonian creatures with more